Ladies and gentlemen, the man I'm about to present to you is one that we love very much in East St. George. He is one that we love very much in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. This is a man that represents St. Vincent and the Grenadines at the United Nations, the highest world body, and represent us with distinction. From Alaska in the north to the Falcon Island, he was chosen to be a chairman of a committee of the United Nations. What a wonderful feeling for St. Vincent and the Grenadines and a wonderful man. That is talking about Big Canada, America, Brazil, Argentina, all in the big countries. Those are countries with millions, hundreds of millions of people. In some cases, under 100 million. And in St. Vincent and the Grenadines with 107,000. They chose our ambassador who was at the United Nations to represent the northern side of the world from Alaska right down to the Falkland Island to chair meeting. That is phenomenal. So when you hear you getting such a person, come here, look, come here. Let me select Marjorie. Come here. That's how Marjorie called me. Let me say, boys, all come here. So I'm not going to call him. He's a man. I have been to a couple of conferences with Carmelo the wall over. And any time he speaks, president, prime minister, foreign minister, everybody stand and give him a round of applause. I have not seen a president. I went to Samoa with him. And after he finished giving his presentation, the prime ministers from the Caribbean, or the parts of the wall, came up and they stand aside and line up. I'm telling you the gospel truth. And they applauded him. And he, everybody wanted to get a piece of him. As a matter of fact, I hardly get a chance to be with him until when the session over because everybody wants a piece of Mr. Gonsav, then at the time foreign minister. Because he represented St. Vincent and the Grenadines and the Caribbean and the rest of the world quite well. And since he can represent the rest of the world in such a manner, what you say to East St. George and St. Vincent and the Grenadines? This is a man who is well trained, a disciplined individual, and he have a little bit more patience than me. He could take a lot more than what I could take because when he gets a little older like the Prime Minister, you get a little irritable and then sometimes. But he is a man with a lot of patience. And he is a good guy. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the next candidate for East St. George. And it's more than you. Come on, sweat. I come to sweat and wet and sweat in more than you. I come to wine and jam and I show to catch it more than you. Cause when I'm fitting up, of course, I just do it like a boss. Let me see your flag. Comrades and friends, lions and lionesses, soldiers and warriors of the Unity Labour Party, my comrades and friends across St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and my brothers and sisters in East St. George, how are you feeling tonight? Comrades, You can feel the breeze. You can feel it in the air. 
you can feel the victory on the horizon. There's a natural mystic flowing through the air. If you listen carefully, you will hear. NDP will have to suffer. Politically, NDP will have to die. Don't ask me why. Comrades, we are here first of all to celebrate 14 years of good governance under the Unity Labour Party. And I want to thank each and every one of you for demonstrating the wisdom to elect the Unity Labour Party to government on three consecutive occasions and to give us the majority vote in 1998 and again to vote us in the future back to government in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I want to thank those that came before me as candidates for the Unity Labour Party. Some of them on the stage today, others in their homes and others of blessed memory. I want to thank Comrade Conrad Sayers, Comrade Mike Brown, Comrade Dougie Slater, Comrade Gerald Thompson, Comrade Mike Hamlet of blessed memory, other comrades like Elvis Charles and Davis Brown, Comrade Michelle Fife, Comrade Rene Baptiste, Comrades Vincent and Glenn Beach, who have all served the Unity Labour Party and brought us to the point where we are today. When we go to the polls in the next election, only two candidates will have been in every victorious election of the ULP from start to finish. Those will be Comrade Ralph Gonzalez, the Prime Minister, and Comrade Gomery Daniel. So, when I look around and I see some little cheap posters in Calicoa saying that it's time for a change, this is the change. The ULP is the change. And we continue to change and update ourselves for the next election. Last election, there was no Carlos James. This year, this election, we will have Team Carlos on board. Last election, there was no Comrade Jomo Thomas. This election, we will have Comrade Jomo. Last election, Sir Louis wasn't in the fold. This election, Sir Louis is back. In 2001, we didn't have Saboto Caesar. Now we have Saboto Caesar. In 2001, we didn't have Gustav Stevens. Now we have the humble African. When they talk about change, tell them, look at the Unity Labour Party. The Unity Labour Party is the change to take the country forward. Here and now. Comrades, in East St. George, when you talk about change, there will only be one new name on the ballot paper in the next election. And the new name and the change will be Camilo Gonzalez and the Unity Labour. Never lost my way, never turn full when I reach We never lost our way. way. Never lost my way. Always focus on the people and progress. Comrades, some people ask me if I am running against, against Linton Lewis. They ask me if I am competing against Linton Lewis. And my answer to that, comrades, is no. Because for me to compete against him, he would have to have something that I want. For me to compete against him, 
he would have to have something that I strive to be. But all he has is a losing record. And I don't want that. And I ain't competing against him for that. Comrades, the people in West St. George formed their opinion on Linton Lewis and said return to sender. And then the people of East St. George rejected him once and rejected him twice. So it is not for me to compete against Linton Lewis. Because the people of East St. George and the electorate of St. Vincent and the Grenadines has already made their mind up on that individual. And I don't want to disturb all it on the side. So I am not running against anybody. But I will tell you what I am running for. I am running for the opportunity to represent and serve the people of East St. George and St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Thing where you wish you were, you better wish it for your head. Bad mind, I wish pure lad, but I can't see cold dad. Me just get the remedy for the... I am running for the opportunity to ensure that Ralph Gonzalez remains the Prime Minister of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I am running for...